Hi friends and welcome. Today's video is all about posture and it's beginning posture. How to start with your posture exercise, especially if you're really tight and you've already developed a hump in your back. This is the exercise video for you. I want you to practice these before you progress to the next video, which I'll also be producing. So I'm going to lead you through a series of videos that go from very simple beginner posture exercises, progressing up to hopefully make you feel taller, pain-free, and in better position to protect your spine from fracture. Hey, if you've already had a fracture, if you've had a recent one especially, be sure you check with your doctor or physical therapist before you start any exercise program. And if you're not sure, just watch along with this video and then discuss it with your provider or therapist. All right, we are going to be doing a mat-based exercise. I say it's exercise, use that term lightly. This is very gentle. We're gonna be on your back. And you can do this on your bed, absolutely. You want a somewhat firm surface, but soft enough that you're comfortable. I want you to be able to relax in this position and doing it on your bed is just fine. As you can tolerate that better, and if you're able to get on and off the floor, then that'll be the next step. But for now, if you need to use your bed, do that. Be sure to use the log roll technique for getting in and out of bed. And if you're not sure how to do that, we'll link the video to that here as well. All right, so starting on our backs. Now, you'll see I have a towel roll here. For some of you, and we're going to have knees bent, for some of you, you'll be able to have your hips on the floor, your upper back, your shoulders, and your head without your chin tilting up like that. If you feel your chin reaching so that you have to really reach for the floor, you need to get support under your head. So you can roll up a towel just enough so that you feel your chin come down to neutral. Okay? You don't want a lot of support so your head's up here, but just enough to fill the gap there for you, okay? So in this position, feet flat, we're going to take the arms out to the sides about 30 to 40 degrees. I want your arms to be fully supported, so not hanging off the edge of the bed, but fully supported on your bed. I want your eyes looking straight ahead. You may even close your eyes if you like, and just soften your body into the surface you're lying on. Take a nice full deep breath in. Exhale fully. As you exhale, we're kind of squeezing the ribs down. We're squeezing all the air out. Full breath in, exhale, squeeze fully. And now just let your breathing go natural and let your body just really surrender to the surface you're lying on. So this is a decompression position. We are creating opening through the front body. We're allowing the spine to just passively lengthen. We don't have the pressure of gravity trying to hold our spine up against that. And so we're getting this lovely passive lengthening in this position. Now for some people it's a little uncomfortable when they first get here, but if you take your time, work a few deep breaths in, allow your body to just soften a little bit and let go of any resistance, you'll find that it really eases a lot of pressure in your middle back. So this is really the first step to creating some length, some length through the front body, Length from any tightness or restriction there that's preventing us from being back in a better position. And I would want you to hold this, hold this resting position for five minutes and work up to 20 minutes at a session. Now you can do that once a day, even better, twice a day. Resting position, decompression, arms out at the side. So we're working to get all that length and opening through the front body, just let go. Just let the arms go, let the head go. Take a full deep breath in, full deep breath out. Allowing our spine to rest here, rest, rest. So that is exercise number one, this decompression position, five minutes up to 20 minutes, once or twice a day. 
Next up, we're going to do a head press. So in the same position, I'm going to attempt to squish the towel that's under my head by just pressing straight back into it. Now you can press really gently and just see how it feels. And if it feels okay, press a little harder, but you don't have to be really forceful if this is the first time you're doing it. You just want enough to create a sensation of muscle contraction in the back of the neck. It is not a tilt. It is a straight press. So the head is coming straight back down into the towel that's behind me. So press five, four, three, two, one, relax. Press five, four, three, two, one, relax. Stay with me. We're going to do three more repetitions. Press five, four, three, two, one, relax. Press five, four, three, two, one, relax. Last one. Press five, four, three, two, one, relax. I just want to make a note that if your legs get tired and you find that you're not able to hold them up, if they're wanting to fall over and you can't keep them up, it is absolutely okay to take a couple of pillows and, or a bolster and place them under your knees to support your legs. So that's fine. Okay, so we did decompression position. We did the head press. Now we're going to do the shoulder press. And I like to do this with my elbows bent. I also call it an elbow press. So between here and here, we're going to be pressing those, that upper arm into the mat. And you should feel, if you can see, a little rise in the chest as you do that, and as falls as you let go and relax that contraction. So in this position, Press the shoulders and the elbows. You get to control how much pressure. Might as well start lightly the first time. Five seconds and then relax. So we're creating tension in the muscles in the upper back and between the shoulder blades. And we're starting to build postural strength in those postural muscles. So let's go ahead and do five repetitions here. Press. Three, two, one, relax. Press, three, two, one, relax. And it is okay to start very light with how hard you're pressing. Just the tiniest contraction. It's a, you start wherever you need to start to begin to feel a little motion there. Relax, two more, press, that beginning of strengthening and building endurance. Relax. Last one. Press. And relax. Great job. All right, so we're going to place the arms at the sides. This is the last exercise coming up. We're going to perform an arm reach. And as best you're able, we'll try to coordinate that arm reach with our breath, but watch it first and see what it looks like, and then we'll perform it together. So I'm going to inhale, exhale as my arm reaches. Exhale and squeeze out all the air, pull the ribs down. Good. On the next inhale, I'm going to bring the arm back. On the next exhale, the other arm goes. Big reach. Inhale, bring the arm back. Now, if you can coordinate that movement with your breath, great. If you can't, don't worry. If you want to spend a little more time in this position and practice the exhale, the reason we do that exhale is now you have that big reach. So you've taken all the slack out of the muscle and the fascia on that side. 
And as you exhale, your ribs get pulled down. So we get a more effective stretch if we do that with the exhale. But don't stress too much about it at this point. We're still just working on that nice reach with the arm. Okay, hands at your side, and let's try to do this together. Inhale. Exhale, reach. Inhale. Arm returns. Exhale, reach. Inhale. Exhale, reach. And you're reaching. Notice my thumb is what's reaching. Exhale. As far as I can go. Inhale. Exhale and reach. Inhale. Last two. One more on each side. Exhale, reach. Inhale. Exhale and reach. Wonderful. And then maybe just set your arms out at your side again. Take a full breath here. And just notice. Notice if you feel any, any difference, any change. Notice any sensations that you're experiencing right now. And thank yourself for this wonderful work that you did to try to improve your health, reduce your pain, and really improve your spine's ability to keep you going day after day. Wonderful. Good job, everybody. Thank you for joining me. I'm Dr. Lisa, physical therapist and osteoporosis exercise specialist. You practice this one every day, and in the few weeks, you're going to see another video that has some progressions on where you can go from here. We'll see you next time.